What is that place where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon? The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. Welcome to the final level. And what better way to start it off than to be meeting up with Vadoom and starting off with a Wraith? The Wraith really makes this level no challenge. At least this section of the level no challenge at all. But when you get up to Legendary, the Doom will not let you have the Wraith, so good luck with that. Oh, this phantom's gonna be a pest. Might as well attempt to knock off the turrets. At the far end of the beach, there's a passage into the cliff. Take you up to the scarab. Control that cruiser of it. I'll remain. Make sure no reinforcements get in behind you. Then I'm going to take the cruiser back. And that will be our last time seeing the Doom for this game. Arbiter, I thought he was dead. Hold your fire. The hunters have come to our aid, Arbiter. They will fight by our side. All right, now we're talking. They may seem like they're taking a beating right now, which they are, but you shouldn't have to worry about it. These hunters can sustain a lot, even on Legendary. You could pretty much just let your allies do this entire section. But I get involved because I want this section to go faster. This section can be a little tricky on the legendary difficulty. Not so much, but just a little bit.
Apparently, he actually liked those dual needlers. He didn't care that I gave him a beam rifle, but apparently he viewed them on the same level. That's kind of weird, seeing as though needlers are almost completely useless in this game, even if dual weld. And that would be the last Jackal Sniper of the game. Don't be like me and constantly use your carbine, seeing as though you constantly get beam rifle replenishments, just keep using that. Oh, and there's that phantom. It really isn't worth killing all of the drones in this area. Even on Legendary, you could just use your camouflage here and just run past them. I was considering killing a couple of them, but let's just release our allies from these sort of jail cells. They still have weapons, but I guess they tried to come in through a door but got blocked off. I don't know. And the counselors, of course, kick ass. It seems as though these Marines are on our side. this ray and we're all gonna die Carter has locked himself inside the control room well i just happen to have a key come on grab a banshee and give me some cover he's gonna know what's coming johnson do you really need cover if i'm gonna be flying around at a banshee at the very least i'm going to be the one needing the cover The wraiths here should not be a challenge at all, but we are going to be encountering some enemies that will give us a couple of problems. The plasma turrets on both of these cliffs shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you constantly move at a decent speed.
The Spectre can be a handful if you don't hit it at the right time. Fortunately, I did just there. The banshees in that section can be very tricky. Especially do not let them duck fight you. And with our Banshee nearly destroyed, we are about to confront Tartarus. Even though this destroyed room is just really weird to navigate. Do not let the Arbiter into the chamber! The chieftain must complete his holy work! I didn't feel like getting close to the brutes with the shotgun. This part really shouldn't be too bad to get through. Just take advantage of the underside here. And you should be good to go. Please use caution. 
This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Carteris, stop. <sighs> Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <sighs> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collectively, the seven... Wrong! Not another word! Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter. The great journey has begun. And the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. Unlike the first Halo game, this game is going to be ending with a boss battle instead of an escape sequence. Tartarus, for no actual reason, just magically got a shield that can only be taken out by three shots with the beam rifle. If you brought a beam rifle into this fight, then you should be good to go. Otherwise, you would have to wait for Johnson to take three shots with the beam rifle once every 20 or 30 seconds, leaving you the opportunity to get some hits on him. Charging sequence initiated. Primary generators coming online. We'll shut them down. Apology. Protocol does not allow me to interfere with any aspect of the sequence. Then how do I stop it? Well, it will take some time to go over the procedures. Quit stalling. Under more controlled circumstances, I would suggest the reclaimer simply remove the index. That's it? Johnson, I'm on it. Hang tight, ma'am. Not until that brood is dead. So just keep doing the fight like this, and keep your distance from Tartarus, because that gravity hammer will kill you instantly if he hits you with it. Once in a while, he will summon brutes to help him out with the battle, which is the really annoying part about this fight. So I finally decided to jump down to deliver the finishing blow. Now, that boss fight was rather forgettable and just really tedious. So how about I show you a different way to beat this guy? Conveniently, there is a hole in the path here, big enough for a Banshee to fit through. Do not let the Arbiter 
Enter the chamber. The chieftain must. So after your little cutscene, you have your Banshee right there, which can just barely fit through these columns. And you can pretty much spend the entire fight in the Banshee, just shooting at Tartarus. Unfortunately, like I said, the only thing, the absolute only thing that can take out Tartarus' shields is three shots from a beam rifle. And the Banshee can be a little bit quirky to control in this arena, but after the second opportunity to get him, you get him. And with that, we have beaten the game. Thank you for watching, everybody. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact, unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Well, that completes this Let's Play for Halo 2. Enjoy the credits and the ending cutscene. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hopefully, I will see you when I tackle Halo 3. Again, thanks for watching, everyone.
silence fills the empty grave now that I have gone. But my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. All right. Shoot. <laughs>